Hey guys, it's Matt Higgins. I just want to say sorry for not posting a video for the past two years. I'm going to try to get back into making these videos on a regular basis. So make sure that you're subscribed and you have those notification bells turned on so you know anytime a new video drops. I'd also like to start beginning to do live streams again, so I'll let you know when those get going. But for today's video, I want to cover the canon history of Mandalore as well as the Darksaber. Ancient Mandalorians held sacred the Warrior Way, and thus conflict was a regular occurrence. However, these Mandalorian Crusaders were often in direct conflict with the Jedi Order as well. It wasn't until many years later, Tar Vizsla became the first Mandalorian accepted into the Jedi Order. During his time as a Jedi, he created the Darksaber. This unique lightsaber was used to unite the many clans of Mandalore under Tar Vizsla's rule. Tar Vizsla established the lineage of Vizsla as the ruling family of Mandalore for many years. After Tar Vizsla's death, the Darksaber was held in the Jedi Temple until the Mandalorians raided it during the fall of the Old Republic. The near continuous state of violence on Mandalore ended up decimating the planet's resources and created a schism in the Mandalorian ideology. This resulted in a bloody civil war between the Mandalorian people occurring around 42 BBY. The new Mandalorian people rejected the violent ways of the past and sought to rebuild Mandalore as a peaceful society. Meanwhile, the Mandalorians following the traditional ways fought to maintain the warrior culture. These traditionalist Mandalorians lost the war and were exiled to the nearby moon of Concordia. The leader of the new Mandalorians, Duchess Satine Kreese, survived the war partly with the help of Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn and his apprentice Obi-Wan Kenobi. She was charged with rebuilding Mandalore and differentiating itself from its violent past. As the Clone Wars began, Mandalore declared neutrality, though it was loosely associated with the Galactic Republic. Long thought to be extinct, the Death Watch arose from the exiled traditional Mandalorians led by the descendant of Tar Vizsla, Pre Vizsla. Armed with the Darksaber and funded by the Separatists, Pre Vizsla and the Death Watch launched a guerrilla warfare campaign to destabilize Duchess Satine's rule. The Republic was called upon to protect Duchess Satine from the Death Watch. The Jedi were able to, for a time, sustain peace until the return of Maul. Maul assembled an alliance of the galactic underworld called the Shadow Collective. Together, Maul and Pre Vizsla recruited more criminal organizations to join them and retake Mandalore. The newfound support allowed the Death Watch to stage a successful coup and depose Duchess Satine. Pre Vizsla assumed the throne of Mandalore with the help of Maul. However, the relationship between Maul and Pre Vizsla grew ever more tense. Eventually, Maul was imprisoned on Mandalore by Pre Vizsla. With the help of former Prime Minister Almec, Maul was able to escape prison and challenge Pre Vizsla to single combat, a common ritual of traditional Mandalorians to establish leadership. Pre Vizsla was killed in the ensuing battle, and Maul assumed rule of Mandalore and Death Watch. Maul took possession of the Darksaber and infected Mandalorian culture. This perversion resulted in tension between some of the more loyal Death Watch members. Duchess Satine's sister, Bo-Katan Kreese, once allied with Pre Vizsla, led a few still loyal members of Death Watch to rebel against Maul's rule. Meanwhile, Maul murdered the imprisoned and deposed Duchess Satine in a show of power. The angered Bo-Katan and her followers provoked a second Mandalorian civil war. Meanwhile, the galactic architect as we know him, Darth Sidious, easily overthrew Maul, killing his apprentice Savage Opress. Maul was able to escape capture, however, and went into hiding. Maul used his relationship with former Prime Minister Almec to install him as the new puppet ruler of Mandalore. Upon receiving intelligence that Maul was still influencing Mandalorian affairs, the Jedi Order sent Ahsoka Tano with her own garrison of clone troopers to help Bo-Katan and her followers flush Maul out and capture him. Maul also sought conflict on Mandalore as a way for him to survive the anticipated Jedi Purge and downfall of the Republic, while hoping to also get revenge on Obi-Wan Kenobi. The Republic and Bo-Katan's followers invaded Mandalore in what became known as the Siege of Mandalore. Maul was successfully captured and Bo-Katan assumed control of Mandalore. However, not long after the departure of the Republic from Mandalore, Order 66 was declared and the Republic was no more. 
In the early days of the empire, Bo-Katan refused to cooperate. The empire eventually forced her out and installed Gar Saxon of Clan Saxon as governor of Mandalore. An imperial academy was installed on Mandalore, which was used to create a new arc generator weapon. This weapon was capable of committing genocide on the Mandalorian people, and was ironically created by their own people to subjugate them. Gar Saxon was murdered at the hands of Clan Wren in an attempt to reclaim the Darksaber into BBY. This incited another civil war against the Empire and Clan Saxon by Clan Wren. Clan Kreese, Vizsla, and several other prominent Mandalorian clans joined in Clan Wren's rebellion. During this conflict, Clan Wren returned the Darksaber to bo who led the Mandalorian resistance to Imperial subjugation. The Empire's frustration, though, with attempting to control the Mandalorian people, instigated the almost complete genocide of their people using these arc generator weapons. This event became known as the Great Purge. Bo-Katan lost the Darksaber during the Great Purge, and the few surviving Mandalorians were scattered and forced into hiding. Following the Great Purge, Mandalore had become practically abandoned for many years, believed to be cursed for the atrocities that were committed there. Imperial Moff Gideon, who helped orchestrate the Great Purge, took possession of the Darksaber after the Great Purge. Four years after the end of the Galactic Civil War and the fall of the Emperor, Bo-Katan set out to once again acquire the Darksaber and lead her people's return to the planet of Mandalore. However, it was Mandalorian Din Djarin that won the Darksaber from Moff Gideon in single combat. As a result, ceremonial control of Mandalore technically belongs to Din Djarin. Alright, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. But before you go, please make sure to smash that like button, because this is the way. Subscribe, and click the notification bell to make sure that you get notified whenever a new video drops. And with that, everybody, have a great day, and may the Force be with you.